Leafs hockey is back, baby. Oh, is it ever, huh? First time I'm putting this thing on this year. And honestly, I didn't think I'd have to for a little while. The way this team is playing early. You, <laughs> you played great against the Lightning last night at home. Probably one of the most complete games we've seen in a long time. <laughs> and the Leafs leaf. Second night of a back-to-back in Columbus against the Jackets and you get your absolute ass kicked. The Leafs don't move their legs. They can't connect a pass. There's odd man rush after odd man rush. Dennis Hildeby wasn't great. Just a shit show. They're down right now 6-2 with two minutes to go in the third period. I'm good, thank you. Let's break it down, shall we? Uh... JVR scores, of course. Former Leaf, you gotta score a goal. And it's the first one of the hockey game. He, you know, he finds a loose puck in front of the net. They don't clear the guy out in front. They don't, uh, the second chance opportunity, right? And they bury it. It's one nothing. 529 in. Less than a minute after that, Justin Danforth comes down the right wing off a pass from Zach Wrenski and just goes underneath, uh, you know, Dennis Hildeby. And regardless of it being an odd man rush, and again, it was not pretty at all. You got to make that save. I, regardless, and I know people don't want to blame the Hill the Beast because everyone loves him and he's big and blah. Sure, great. However, we can all agree that that goal should not have gone in. As now you're down 2 nothing, less than six and a half into the contest. And then Matthew, Matthew Olivier, I don't even remember which goal this one was, but regardless, he scores, making it 3 nothing. And that's how the first period ends. Shots are 15-6 to six in favor of Columbus. You're down 3 nothing. I mean, it's just ugly, ugly, ugly stuff in that first period. Hildeby wasn't great. The d core wasn't great. The forwards playing D weren't great. They got no offense going. It was, all, like I said, odd man rush after odd man rush. It was just ugly hockey all game long. Go to the second period. Sean Monahan scores. Sure. And then Olivier scores his uh, second goal of the night and third goal of the season. Uh, yeah, okay, sure, good for him. And you're on 5 nothing halfway through the hockey game. It's, uh, pretty painful. I'm very curious to see what Craig Berube has to say after this game. Because there's nothing pretty to it. Absolutely nothing. Then, yeah, with about a minute to go, Matthew Nyes, again, great individual effort, gets the puck, fires it on, scores, one-on-one to play in second period, maybe 5-1, we're thinking, oh, maybe, just because you get the flashbacks to last year, around my birthday, it was December 14th was the game, where the Leafs play the Jackets at Scotiabank Arena, we're down 5-0 going into the third period, uh, they scored 5 and lost in overtime, of course, in Leafs fashion, um, and they, the Leafs, so the Leafs score that one goal late, and you're like, oh, the Jackets, maybe... No, they come out in the third period. They don't play great. And then Marchenko scores halfway through. It's curtains, right? They, they just don't look good whatsoever. Uh, it's it's 6-1. And, of course, Nick Robertson scores his first goal of the year when you're down 6-1 to make it 6-2. Uh, I didn't even see what the goal was, but do I care? Not really. And I hate to say this, and I know people get love looking at the stats. And Nick Robertson, whoa, look at his numbers last year. Look where the look at the time of the goals. Like, uh, and I know at least like three of them were against like the Sharks and Ducks when you're already up seven what one or seven nothing. So fine. So Robertson's goal today would be from six one to six two. Great, I guess. Ben Juan Tavares grab assist. That's it. You're getting outshot thirty eight twenty five as of right now with twenty seven seconds left in the third period. I get it, you played a back to back, but holy crap. That was a pathetic performance from Puck Drop. And as I mentioned, I'm very intrigued to see what Craig Berube has to say after a game like this. Easily the worst showing of this season. Again, doing it in the Leafs' way. They do it against a bad opponent where you should beat them after beating a good opponent the night before or in, just like in the last game regardless. And no, no good. Power play still stinks. They were 0-3 for 3 today. Jackets were 0-4, for 4, so the penalty kill was just fine, I guess. But uh, Dennis Hildeby won good. Uh, I'm, just gonna, I'm not, not going to sugarcoat it. I think that's Dennis Hildeby's last game in the NHL for a little while here. The reason I say that is you're going to have Stolarz play on Wednesday or on Thursday against St. Louis. I will be at that game, actually. Um, and I believe Saturday, don't be surprised if Joe Wall plays against the Bruins on Saturday. 
or you know, by the t- when's the next back to back? Let me just say that. There it is. Final six two. You lose. Yeah, it just did brutal. Um, yeah, the Blues on Thursday, Boston Saturday, Monday Jets, Thursday Kraken, Saturday Sunday, November second and third is Blues and Wild. I don't think you'll wait that long to see Joe Wall, assuming he's ready to go. I, again, he seems close, I guess. So don't be surprised if he's in that Bruins game on Saturday night and Hildeby's da- back down with, with the the carousel of goaltenders. It's Dennis Hildeby, Matt Murray, and and shout out to Aktiamov or whatever, however you pronounce his name, who's been very good for the Marlies to start the season. That's what you, you're going to get that in the AHL. Uh, I think that's just what it is. I I did not like Hildeby's game whatsoever today. He looked out of place. He looked lost in the net. Now, again, the team played horrific in front front of him. It looked awful in front of him. But mix in a save, please. Uh, That's the one thing, right? As much as people say, well, you can't blame him on that. You can't blame him on that. Right. And I'm not going to compare Igor Shosturkin to Dennis Hildeby, but look what a goaltender does when they... Hell, screw that. Anthony Stolarz, like, you know, at least played great in front of him, but when he needed to be big, he was big. Oh, right, I remember one of the goals, I think it was the, actually the, the, the Olivier goal, might not, the first one, might have actually been, it was a two-on-one, he just kept it and shot it and beat the goaltender. It's like, okay, on a two-on-one as a defenseman, you take the pass across, goaltender takes a shooter, and it beat him clean. You know what I mean? It's just not good. It's not good stuff from Dennis Hildeby today. He was not very good. The team sucked. Everyone on the ice for the Toronto Maple Leafs stunk today. So on to the next one, because it's a regular season game. And as much as people want to yell and scream when the Leafs win and say, oh, yeah, playoffs, and then when they lose a game like this, they're like, ah, ah typical Leafs. <laughs> so fine, whatever. I mean, yeah, typical Leafs. I ain't denying that. But the next game for the Leafs is, as I mentioned, on Thursday. Did I see Pacioretty left the game with an injury? Hold on a second here. Did I see that right? Pacioretty, X game with lower body injury. Lovely. All right. And David Camp was actually scratched today, and in comes Ryan Reeves. Very interesting stuff from Sheldon Key. Er, whoa. From Craig Berube. But anyways, that is going to do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed the video and uh, not the game today, because if you did, you're a freaking psychopath. Hit that like button. I do appreciate it. The subscribe button. You guys not done so already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video. Thoughts on the game. Would you like? Would you not like from today? Uh... Would you not like from today's game for the Toronto Maple Leafs, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you guys uh, uh, tomorrow. Raptors edition, game one of 82. God, give me something to cheer about. Raptors, Cavaliers at Scotiabank Arena at 7.30 there. And as for the Leafs, we talked about it. They're back in action on Thursday as they host the St. Louis Blues back at Scotiabank Arena. 7 p.m. puck drop there. I will be there, so the video will be uploaded later than usual, but it will be uploaded Thursday night. Guarantee it. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and not this game at all today. Talk to you guys then.